In this video, we'll cover how to set up a t-distribution table in Excel. The t-distribution is a type of normal distribution, which is typically used for small sample sizes, however can also be used for larger ones, and is appropriate when the population variance of a dataset is unknown. It's typically used to find the upper and lower bounds of a confidence interval. To create our t-distribution, we will use the t.inverse function, which returns the left-tailed inverse of the t-distribution. This function consists of two parameters, the probability, which is also known as the level of significance, and the degrees of freedom. To test a single mean, the degrees of freedom are given by the number of observations in the sample minus 1. We have the levels of significance as the horizontal headings, and vertically we have the degrees of freedom. All we therefore need to do now is to use the t.inverse function to calculate the values for the t-distribution. We can type equals t.inv followed by the level of significance and then the degrees of freedom and click enter. This gives us the t-score. Since we're using the level of significance, in other words 0.1 instead of 0.9, the value of the t-statistic is negative. To make this value positive, we can engulf the absolute function around it like this. The next step will be to apply this function to all the remaining cells in our table. We can't simply drag the cells across and below as we haven't yet added absolute references. Ignoring this would result in a bunch of incorrect results as the function would not select the level of significance and degrees of freedom that we want. The first thing we'll want to do is to add a dollar sign before the number 4. In other words, for the level of significance, we want to always select the cells in row 4, but we want to dynamically move to a different column as we drag the cells across. In other words, if we drag this cell to the right, we want it to refer to D4 instead of C4, whereas if we move it down, we still want it to refer to row 4. For the degrees of freedom, we're going to fix the column identifier, as we always want to refer to column B, but want the row number to be dynamic. Now that we've applied our references, we'll drag this cell to the right and down to apply the function to all cells within our table. So that's how you can create a t-distribution table quickly and easily in Excel. If, say, you want to find the t-statistic where your level of significance is 0.1 and you have 12 degrees of freedom, then all you need to do is find the value corresponding to these two parameters in the table, which is 1.356. Alternatively, you can use the index match function to do this for you automatically. I've created a video to show you how to do this, please see the link in the description below. That brings us to the end of this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.